Welcome to A&M Reviews. I'm Sky Bear, and here with my buddy Sal. Sal, what's up, Sal? Not much. And before we get into this, keep in mind, there will be spoilers up ahead, so watch out for those. You've been warned. And today we are going to be talking about Layer Cake, Matthew Vaughn's very first film, which is about a successful cocaine dealer gets two tough assignments from his boss on the eve of his planned early retirement. So, uh, what what did you give this movie, Sal? I gave it a 7 to 7.5 out of 10. Okay, yeah, yeah, I respect that. <laughs> Uh, I gave it like a 7.5, I would say. Well, so that sounds good. So what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? You know, at first, like, the beginning, like, comes off as, like, kind of a slow movie. But then I enjoy, like, how it just, like, builds up from there. And, like, I, I think that this is a very underrated little gem of a movie where, like, it's a great crime caper. It's got Daniel Craig pre-Bond, but I mean, he's basically James Bond in this movie, pretty much. Yeah. And Matthew Vaughn, like, you can see, like, early on he was, like, like where he was going to go in his career, so it's cool to, like, backtrack to that. But, yeah, I thought this was just all around a good movie. <laughs> well, I mean, for me, it was uh, Daniel Craig's in it, so like you said, pre-Bond, Tom Hardy was in there, too. The story was great. I especially loved the ending. I did not expect the ending. Man, that's... That hit me so hard when just, like, everything was fucking awesome, and then it uh, just, like, it all just went to shit immediately. <laughs> no, but not to me. It actually, I wanted to stand up and applaud it, because mm. you would expect everything to end up perfect. You know, they ride out to the sunset with their love in an open car, but no, shit happens. And I was like, wow, this is, like, like telling you, like, and he's talking to you right before he gets shot. It's out of nowhere, and I'm like, you know what? For him to even think like, oh, I'm great. I'm getting out of the business. Out of nowhere, he gets shot and starts dying. And the camera just pans up. Yeah, Bond gets shot by Q, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just perfect. It's I mean, I'm not saying the death was perfect. I'm just saying the whole story. Like, he went from being really well off in his career that he was doing, selling cocaine, to dealing with pills, and getting almost killed, to getting out of that hole. And he thinks he covered all the bases, but guess what? There was one tiny asshole that he didn't deal with. Or he for, he didn't even think he was important. And guess what? He's the one who basically brought him down. Is kind of just saying, you know, you can always be like the most powerful person in the world. There's always a little trip up or a little thing that can go wrong and it might go wrong. You know, it's like he should have covered all his bases, but he was didn't give that guy much importance. Yeah, but and like you always had to, you know, expect the unexpected. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're in that line of work, like he was, you know, he's a drug dealer and stuff like that. You can't never 100%, you know, believe in a person and say, hey, this is a person who's not going to be dangerous to me because everybody to you is dangerous in one way or another. With that said, the only thing that was, I mean, I had it as a con was Daniel Craig, right? He's a drug dealer. Yeah. Doesn't like guns. Really, a drug dealer who's not armed? Yeah, it's like that classic movie trope, you know, just like, oh yeah, I, just like, I do all this bad shit, but nah, I don't fucks with no guns. <laughs> well, I mean, I would believe it if he had, like, bodyguards behind him and everything, but for him, and just, like he said, it's only him and his friend who he can trust, you're not armed, like, what the fuck, seriously, like, you're you're this stupid, you're... I mean, I kind of saw it coming in the sense when he said, oh, I don't I don't like guns. I'm like, no, no, this is going to be your downfall. There's going to be a scene where either you need to get the gun and somebody's reaching for it or a gun's going to kill you. That said, I mean, that was my only thing. Like, you didn't like guns. Yeah, well, I mean, like, he kind of just went into it anyway. Just like, well, and like they were playing off of that, too, where it's just like, oh, you, you sure you don't like guns? Well, how about this one? <laughs> no, and then here's the thing. That's the scene that got him the role for 007. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just like you watch this movie and you can see it. It's just like, yep, this is it. This is where they were like, that's James Bond right there. We're going to make him James Bond, guys. <laughs> see, in my mind, I was like, oh, this is going to fit so perfect. If he like at the end, he's still alive. He can basically be like, I left this side of business. So I can go into the spy business. And I'm like, it could carry on because <laughs> because it could work. He doesn't have a name in the movie. He does not. That's what That's what I also appreciate, how they call that out. It's just like, you didn't even realize he didn't have a name, did you? <laughs> For me, throughout the movie, I was like, no, he has a name. Like, he has friends. They, they obviously call him something. So either I skipped that and I'm ignorant, but yeah, I'm going to go with, yeah, I heard his name already. 
really, I know, I know who he is. At the end, I'm like, oh no, I, I never heard his name. Okay, well, what other stuff did you like about it, or or stuff that you didn't like about it? I mean, um, I mean, not much. I mean, other than like the pacing issue, and you know, there was like a couple of cliche moments all around. Just like good movie, good action. I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, I saw on uh, IMDb, uh, it says the actor who plays the Duke uh, is the son of notorious London gang enforcer, Freddie Foreman. So, so yeah. <laughs> so, that makes this movie more dangerous. Yeah, I love it when movies, like, put in real gangsters in, into their movies. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, Goodfellas included, like, some real people, and I think a Bronx Tale did as well. Just like, yes, yes, this is all awesome. <laughs> That was it for our Layer Cake review. Catch us up next time when we review Black Hawk Down. Social media is in the description. Hit us up if you have any questions. And remember, keep watching movies.